发铁情深，共建经济走廊。Some of them tend to compare it with the traditional maritime routes passing through the Malacca Straits, connecting China and the Middle East. Once you link up Gwadar with Tashkent, in terms of distance, I think you are saving about eight to nine thousand kilometers. And obviously, when you save on cost. 特朗普进目里为何没有巴基斯坦？八国再遭袭，将如何加深防空？专访巴基斯坦驻华大使马苏德·哈里德。大家好，欢迎收看《风云对话》，我是付小田。春节已经过完了，新的学年、新的财年很快将随着春天的到来陆续开启。而在中国的外交活动方面，“一带一路”高峰论坛也定在五月十四到十五号在北京举行。这次活动的主旨是要为解决当前世界和区域经济面临的问题寻找方案，为实现联动式发展注入新的能量。那么，今天这期节目我们要关注的国家是在“一带一路”倡议中与中国的合作具有代表性的国家——巴基斯坦。中巴经济走廊经过两年的建设，进展如何？巴基斯坦眼中的一带一路是怎样一个项目？巴基斯坦沿途安全形势是否已经得到控制？作为穆斯林国家，巴基斯坦如何看待特朗普的移民禁令？又对特朗普时代的美巴关系有何期许？二零一三年五月，中国国务院总理李克强出访巴基斯坦。在访问期间，李克强提出要打造一条北起喀什、南至巴基斯坦瓜达尔港的经济大动脉，用这条中巴经济走廊推进中巴间的互联互通。二零一三年底，中国国家主席习近平提出“一带一路”战略构想，中巴经济走廊由此成为“一带一路”的有益补充。巴基斯坦总理纳瓦兹谢里夫表示，投资四百六十亿美元的中巴经济走廊，对巴基斯坦乃至整个南亚地区而言。都将是改写游戏规则的项目。Good afternoon, Ambassador Galit. Thank you for having us in your embassy this evening. My pleasure. So, speaking of、uh, Pakistan, we know that in the recent years, the one of the topics that、uh, everyone's interested about is the China-Pakistan economic corridor. So, first of all, could I please ask you to update us with the situation? Okay. Thank you very much. You know, China-Pakistan economic corridor is merely A two-year project, in a way, because before that, we were in a discussion mode between Pakistan and China.、Mm -hmm. And as you know, when Premier Li Keqiang came to Pakistan in 2013, we discussed this idea, and then we got into a discussion between the two governments as to what does this concept mean,、mm -hmm. and how to implement it. So that took some time. And then, through mutual consultations, we decided on the areas where we will cooperate. When President Xi Jinping came to Pakistan in 2015,、mm -hmm. we signed a number of agreements. 51, if I remember right. Ah,、uh, 51. That's right. And which involved a、uh, number of areas, but primarily energy, infrastructure, development of Gwadar Port, and industrial cooperation. So the progress is steady. The、mm -hmm. uh, project is basically two years old because, on ground, the work started only two years ago,、mm -hmm. and we are making、uh, good progress. Some major projects are underway.、Mm -hmm. For example, in the energy sector, there are three or four big projects、uh, which are under implementation, and of course,、uh, this involves the entire range、mm -hmm. of energy mix. For example,、mm -hmm. we have the coal-based power plants. Wind power, solar power, as well as hydro.、Mm. Then, on the infrastructure side, we have started two big road projects in Pakistan, and third one is also under discussion.、Mm -hmm. Work on the development of Gwadar Port is going on,、mm. and we have recently received、uh, information that、uh, the Chinese government has also. Uh, given the approval for the construction of Gwadar International Airport, so the work is going on,、uh, I think, at a satisfactory pace. In China, the economic corridor will include two important infrastructure projects: the Pakistan Railway Link, the Pakistan Railway Link, and the Pakistan Railway Link. The Pakistan Railway Link will provide the connectivity of the Indian Ocean to the Indian Ocean, 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 the Indian Ocean to the Indian Ocean. 巴基斯坦的瓜达尔深水港是走廊的先行试点
，也是“一带一路”战略实施的里程碑项目，于二零一六年十一月正式开航。So when do you think the road connecting Guadar port and Xinjiang in China will be able to finish? You see, uh, CPAC is divided into various phases. Mm -hmm. One is the short-term mm -hmm. projects, mid-term projects, and long-term projects. So right now, we are focusing on uh, improving mm -hmm. the road network of Pakistan mm -hmm. and modernizing the road connectivity between Pakistan and China. You know, we have uh, this Karakoram Highway, which links Pakistan with the Xinjiang province. Mm -hmm. Now the work is going on on its uh, upgradation and modernization. So in the first phase, we are working on uh, improving the road network of Pakistan, which requires investment. And we are receiving Chinese assistance uh, for that. Chinese companies are working uh, on these projects. Mm -hmm. And in the next phase, we will improve the domestic railway network of Pakistan because that also needs modernization and upgradation. Mm -hmm. Once that is done, from there, we will move on to the next phase of connecting uh, through railway, mm -hmm. Kashgar and Gwadar. Right. So when people talk about the road connection between uh, Gwadar ports and Xinjiang, well, some of them tend to compare it with the traditional maritime routes, which uh, passing through the Malacca Straits connecting China and the Middle East. So comparing with the, the maritime road, how would you say are the uh, advantages or disadvantages of this economic corridor? Well, I think the advantage of uh, linking Gwadar with Kashgar is, of course, uh, economizing on cost and distance. Mm. Because right now, China is using uh, the eastern uh, ports mm. for the transportation of its goods through, as you said, Malacca Strait. And that takes time. And uh, once you link up Gwadar with Kashgar, in terms of distance, I think you are saving about eight to 9,000 kilometers. And obviously, when you save on distance, you save on cost. Uh, the transportation is quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think once all these projects uh, become a reality, mm -hmm. after modernization of road infrastructure, after modernization and upgradation of railway network, after the development of Gawadar port, then I think it? we will see this dream become a reality. Mm -hmm. that uh, those goods which are now using the eastern ports of China, they will move from Kashgar right up to Gwadar and from onwards to uh, other regions uh, of the world. Then how about the security situation along the way? Because, you know, the economic corridor passing through the Taliban, the Kashmir, all the conflict areas. There is... Uh, considerable improvement in the security situation because, as you would know, uh, Pakistan Army had uh, initiated and launched a very concerted military operation against uh, the militant outfits and against these terrorist outfits, which were basically taking advantage of a very complex geography. Mm -hmm. a very difficult terrain mm -hmm. um, on our border with Afghanistan. And you know the situa situation in Afghanistan is mm -hmm. complex and difficult. So these elements were taking advantage of that geography. So Pakistan Army uh, two years ago started this military campaign, which was a land operation as well as an aerial operation from our Air Force also participated. As a result of that military operation, practically all these, uh, you know, uh, terrorist outfits and their offshoots have been cleared from the area mm -hmm. which belonged to Pakistan. And then either they were killed mm -hmm. or eliminated, and those who were left, they crossed uh, into Afghanistan because, you know, it's a porous border and mountainous uh, region. So our area has been cleared 
and now we are consolidating. We are working on a national action plan throughout the country to do combing operations uh, against such elements who create mischief or try to create mischief. Then for corridor, we have of course deployed, uh, you know, troops. Mm -hmm. We have raised uh, a special force to provide protection to our Chinese friends. And by the way, uh, according to one estimate, according to the information I have, there are about 19,000 Chinese already working in Pakistan. And they are working uh, in full security and uh, we are providing all possible protection to them. Pakistan 巴基斯坦南部新德省塞河湾地区的一处宗教场所遭自杀式爆炸袭击。据当地警方消息，这次恐袭已导致至少一百人死亡，二百多人受伤。极端组织伊斯兰国宣称制造了此次事件。ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィスタンは、ウィス
，尽管巴国与阿富汗边境仍是众多恐怖分子的藏匿之地。Well, we see that President Donald Trump wanted to implement the immigration ban, although there are some obstacles right now. How does Pakistan think of this immigration ban, and how do you think of the fact? That Pakistan is not included in the blacklisted countries. Well, I think、um, it is for、uh, every country to decide what to do in terms of, you know, allowing people to come in. But if you ask my personal opinion, I think this、um, this move or this decision、uh, is not helpful、uh, on several counts. And I think today、uh, the Uh, court in the United States has、uh, given a decision uh, against uh, that ruling, but I'm not going to comment uh, on on the、uh, on the decision itself. As far as、uh, Pakistan is concerned,、uh, we have maintained traditionally、uh, friendly. Ties with the United States. There is a history of relationship between Pakistan and the United States. Pakistan right now is in the forefront of fighting terrorism, and the world has acknowledged our sacrifices, including、uh, the people,、uh, our American friends.、Yeah. So、uh, I don't find any justification for、uh, Pakistan's inclusion. 沙特阿拉伯一直是美国在中东地区最重要的盟友。上周，美国从沙特进口的原油再增加百分之一点九，达到每天一百四十六万桶，为去年八月以来的最高水平。两国交情甚深，沙特未被美国加入黑名单，自然不难理解。而同是伊斯兰国家的巴基斯坦，为什么这次也能享有美国的特殊待遇？有分析认为，霍因特朗普正对南亚有着新的盘算。未来，特朗普将在南亚展开哪些新动作呢 ？Well,、uh, last year after president's elect at the time, Donald Trump winning the election, your Prime Minister Sharif made a felicitating phone call to the president elect at the time, and a warm conversation followed. And not only Donald Trump accepted the invitation to visit Pakistan, and he also said he's willing and ready to play any role Pakistan wants him to play. To address and find solutions to outstanding problems. So, how are his words being、we、perceived? Have, yeah, we have established mechanisms for dialogue with the United States,、uh, and we have been engaged in dialogue at all levels、uh, with the United States. And we look forward to、uh, continuing this engagement with the new administration in the United States. And I think uh, uh, we hope that in coming months.、Uh, We will have uh, uh, this uh, discussion on various issues,、uh, you know,、uh, which are of common and mutual uh, interest uh, to United States and Pakistan. United States has been,、uh, you know, helping Pakistan in a variety of ways in the past, and we look forward to our engagement、uh, with the new administration. In Washington, but do you find the、uh, uh, President Donald Trump's stance is, is sort of a continuation of the previous administration, or there is sort of a substantial change? Obviously, the,、uh, there are two different parties.、Mm. It's a Republican Party. It's a Republican administration. They have their own、uh, philosophy. They have their own outlook、uh, and their own approach. So obviously there will be some variation in approach. So but let's see.、Yeah. It's a bit early to,、yeah. to really say. But is there sort of expectations for this current administration no, on the policies in South Asia? No, no. We have we have had uh, good uh, good relationships uh, with all administrations in Washington,、mm -hmm. uh, and we have always remained engaged. Pakistan has always been a part of the relationship between the United States and China. 在很多关键的历史时期，中巴两国都在第一刻相互支撑。二零一五年，更建立起全天候战略合作伙伴关系，彼此间的信任令双方的合作毫无障碍。很多评论认为，就亲密程度而言，全世界无出中巴其右。巴铁，中国最铁、最坚实的哥们儿一词
也早已流传开来。So there's going to be an Obor summit in Beijing in May this year.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So、um, do you think your prime minister is going to take a part in it? I'm sure he got the invitation. Yes,、uh, prime minister received an invitation, and we expect、uh, him to attend this important summit in May. Mm. Mm. And、um, well, what sort of、uh, message that you would like to share with other countries? On the well, topic I, of the One Belt One Revolution. Well, I think the overarching theme is, of course, connectivity and mutual development, mutual prosperity. It's a very good theme.、Mm-hmm. But obviously, when we talk of One Belt One Road initiative,、uh, it has its regional dividends.、Uh, we are talking of、mm-hmm. connectivity with other regions. We are talking of bringing the people together. In an economic equation, in an economic partnership, where the common man,、mm. uh, you know,、uh, gets the benefit.、Uh, so it is for the common prosperity of、uh, our region, and this is a very bold、uh, economic blueprint, I would say.、Uh, one Belt, One Road initiative.、Uh, it is、uh, long-term, futuristic. And a good promise in terms of bringing the people of different regions together through people-to-people contacts, trade, commerce, investments, industrial development. So I think、um, this is actually、uh, the core theme, and this is also theme, also the theme of China-Pakistan economic corridor.、Mm. So. I think we will highlight what we have done so far between Pakistan and China,、mm-hmm. in terms of promoting connectivity, in terms of promoting、uh, this economic interaction,、uh, mutual prosperity, regional prosperity. So、um, I think、uh, we look forward to active participation in the summit. Right. Then, what would be the top agenda for your embassy in 2017? To prepare for the summit. To prepare、yeah. for. To start、uh, with. <laughs> to prepare for the summit. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 哈利德大使在采访里说：“一带一路是一个长远而美好的承诺，将通过促进民间的交流、商贸，实现共同发展跟繁荣。”哈利德大使还说：“巴基斯坦对特朗普统治下的美国的南亚政策没有特别期许，巴基斯坦和美国关系本来就不错。”巴基斯坦不赞成特朗普提出的移民禁令，但是美国也向巴基斯坦做出承诺，巴基斯坦不会上禁令黑名单。大使透露说，相信总理谢里夫会应邀出席五月份的高峰论坛，届时对中国的一带一路，巴基斯坦有经验、有心得，愿意分享。感谢收看本期节目，我们下周见。